In problems involving testing two population proportions, the value of the standard error depends on whether the test is one-tailed or two-tailed. When the test is one-tailed, the null hypothesis suggests the population proportions could possibly be different. Hence, the samples are not pooled. The estimate of the standard error of the difference in proportions is identical to the standard error used in the confidence interval. The test statistics numerator is the difference in sample proportions minus the hypothesized difference of population proportions, which is zero in most cases. The denominator of ZSTAT is the above estimated standard error. In a market research associates example, can we conclude using a 5% level of significance that the proportion of households aware of the client's product increased after the new advertising campaign. The sample proportion of households that are aware of the client's product after the ad campaign began is 0.48. The sample proportion of households that are aware of the client's product before the ad campaign is 0 0.40. Thus, 48% of those surveyed after the ad campaign were aware of the client's product. Forty percent of those surveyed before the ad campaign were aware of the client's product. Since we want to know if the campaign increased awareness, we are conducting a one-tailed test. Hence, the standard error of the, this test is computed the same as it was in the confidence interval example. The standard error of the difference in proportions is 0.0510. Since we have been asked to determine if the ad campaign has increased the proportion of households aware of the client's product using a 5% level of significance, the alternative hypothesis is the difference in the population proportions is positive. Thus, the null hypothesis is the difference in the population proportions is less than or equal to zero. Since the significance level is 5% and the test is one-tailed, alpha is not divided by two. The critical value can be determined by using either the standard normal table or the final row of the t-distribution table because the values in this table are both z's and t's. The critical value is 1.645 because this is the value that is in the final row and 0 0.050 column of the t-distribution table. The value of the test statistic is found by substituting 0.48 for p bar 1, 0.40 for p bar 2, 0 for the hypothesized difference in the population proportions, and 0 0.0510 for the standard error of the difference in proportions. Simplifying the numerator yields the point estimate of the difference in sample proportions, 0 0.08. Dividing this by the standard error yields 1.57. In step four, draw the distribution to help you reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis. The z-critical value is positive 1.645 because the alternative hypothesis indicated that this is an upper tail test. The probability of being greater than 1.645 is 0 0.050 which is just the significance level shaded red. The critical value defines the do not reject the null and reject the null regions. The null hypothesis is not rejected because ZSTAT 1.57 is in the do not reject the null region because it is less than the critical value 1.645. At the 5% level of significance, we cannot conclude that the proportion of households aware of the client's product increased after the ad campaign, meaning the ad campaign was probably ineffective. When the test is two-tailed, 
The null hypothesis suggests that the population proportions are probably equal. So we pool the samples then compute an estimate of population proportion, which P1 and P2 equal if the null hypothesis is true. Pooling the samples alters the standard error, but not the equation for the Z stat. In the example below, John is a political candidate who wants to know if female support for his candidacy is the same as his male support. Using a 5% level of significance, a survey conducted shows 3 out of 10 of 620 females surveyed said they will vote for John, while the same survey said 362 of 680 males surveyed said they will vote for John. The sample proportion of female voter support is equal to 0.5. The sample proportion of male voter support is equal to 0.532. Hence, 50% of females surveyed support John's candidacy, while 53.2% of male voters surveyed support his candidacy. Since we have been asked to determine if John's female support for his candidacy is the same as his male support, we are conducting a two-tailed test. Thus, under the null hypothesis, the population proportions are equal, meaning we pool the samples. Substituting the sample sizes, 620 and 680, and sample proportions, 0.5, and 0.532 into the pooled sample proportion equation yields a numerator equal to the sum of John's female support, 310 voters, and John's male support, 362 voters, and a denominator equal to the total number of voters surveyed, 620 female voters plus 680 male voters. Hence the pooled sample proportion is 0.5169. The standard error of the difference in proportions is found by substituting in the pooled simple proportion of 0.5169 and sample sizes 620 and 680, which equals the square root of the product of 0.2497 and 0.003083 or 0.02775. Since we have been asked to determine if John's female support for his candidacy is the same as his male support, the null hypothesis is the difference in the population proportions is equal to zero. The alternative hypothesis is the difference in the population proportions is not equal to zero. This says this is a two-tailed test. Since the significance level is 5% and the test is two-tailed, alpha is 0 0.0500, which we divide by 2. Alpha divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.0250. Since the test is two-tailed, there are two critical values. The upper critical value is 1.96, because this value is found in the final row and 0.025 column of the t-distribution table. Hence, the lower critical value is negative 1.96. The value of the test statistic is found by substituting 0.5 for p bar 1 and 0.532 for p bar 2, 0 for the hypothesized difference in the population proportions, and 0.02775 for the standard error of the difference in proportions. Simplifying the numerator yields the point estimate of the difference in sample proportions. 0.032. Dividing this by the standard error 
yield 1.15. In step four, draw the distribution to help you reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis. The z critical values are negative 1.96 and 1.96 because the alternative hypothesis indicated this is a two-tailed test. The probability of being outside of these two values is 0 0.025 plus 0 0.025, which is the significance level. The critical values define the do not reject the null and reject the null regions. The null hypothesis is not rejected because z stat 1.15 is in the do not reject the null region because it's between the critical values. Hence, at the 5% level of significance, we cannot conclude that support for female voters is different from the support John's getting from males. Complete homework 10 on Blackboard.